What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Chiron in the 10th house. But first, we're going to break down what Chiron is all about. So in ancient mythology, Chiron was known to be the wounded healer. He was known to be someone that could heal people from their problems, their struggles, their obstacles, trauma that they did experience in their lives. However, Chiron was unable to heal himself from his own wounds. Okay, so wherever Chiron pops up in your natal birth chart, and Chiron is actually spelled C-H-I-R-O-N, wherever this is located, um, sign placement, as well as house placement, um, this is going to be the area of your life that wounded you the most as a child. Okay, so I'm talking about the ages of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These ages is what I'm speaking about. So just um, digging a little deeper into this, um, this is going to be wounds that you do accumulate from youth. Um, and some way, somehow, you have to overcome these obstacles in your life, this struggle in your life, this blockage that you are dealing with in your life in order to persevere, in order to move forward, and in order to um, get to the level of your destiny because this can be a hindrance to your life. Okay, um, and, but this would actually show the area that you're actually excellent in, um, but you fear it. You fear it because of ridicule from early on in childhood. You fear it because you wasn't able to fully um, express it or step into it as a child. So now the 10th house, the 10th house is linked to Capricorn and Capricorn's ruling planet is Saturn. So with this particular placement right here, Chiron in the 10th house, Chiron is very similar to Saturn. It's not the same, but it's very similar, okay? Um, Saturn has to deal with karma. It has to deal with things being delayed to you until later on in life. Where Chiron has to deal with a wound that's um, preventing you to move forward in life, okay? So we know that this is the 10th house of reputation, status, power, um, being recognized for your hard work, being recognized for your dedication, ambition, um, Anything that has to deal with career, anything that has to deal with your job, entrepreneurship, this is the house that we're speaking about. So this house also has to deal with legacy and leaving behind a legacy later on in life for your loved ones, your children, or whoever it is that you care for. So let's jump into this. And if anybody's listening, they're probably like, oh, what's wrong with her voice? But I'm losing my voice. <laughs> okay, let's jump into this. So. This placement means your deepest wound is linked to reputation, status, power, okay, um, leaving behind a legacy. This is where your deepest wound is being accumulated at. So you desire to be recognized and also admired by people that you know, people that you are going to meet in this world. You want to be seen as accomplished and highly respected. So these people are seeking respect, which could definitely indicate that in um, childhood, okay, they didn't feel respected. They could have felt like they're not being heard when it comes to their accomplishments and things that they were doing, projects that they were doing as children um, could have gone unnoticed, okay? Um, people wasn't probably giving them their props, um, what they were looking for, okay? So let's say that they're doing a project at school and, and they feel like they did a great job, but the parents are not um, acknowledging that or they're just saying, oh, that was nice, that was okay. Okay, it was all right. Um, but next time you can do it a little bit better. You messed up right here. But okay, so all of these um, shots to the ego when it comes to that. Um, respect, okay? Um, respect comes from a place of also... Um, boundaries, okay? So these people could um, have a difficult time with setting those things down and placing it in order. Um, we do know they want to be admired for the things that they do and um, also recognized for the things that they do. So that means they want people to acknowledge the shit that they have done, okay? Um, when they grow up and become adults, if they become an entrepreneur or just working on their regular jobs or careers, um, they want the people around them to know that they did a good job, that they did their best, but they want the people to acknowledge that. So it may be difficult for you to find worth in yourself unless, 
other people see your worth. So this is a difficult placement to have because, first of all, you have to already dive deep in yourself and find that worth within yourself. It's not outside of you, it's inside of you. But for some reason, these people are looking for it outside of their selves. And this is why they become um, very um, disappointed with people, very disappointed in the encounters that they may come across at times because they're seeking it from other people. Okay, so this is something that they should refrain from doing. <clears throat> um, you tend to feel, these people tend to feel like you are always catering to other people and not catering to your own needs. This is another downfall to this. These are the type of people that's going to be helping people, um, looking after people, taking care of people, that's taking care of people, um, being a shoulder to lean on, being a shoulder to cry on. Um, they can even do things that they don't really want to do, okay, just for the sake of making sure that it gets done or making sure that it gets done the right way. Um, they even do this with themselves, which makes it even more difficult because if somebody did try to help them in a specific area, um, you know, Saturn is about structure. It's about order. It's about um, the way you want to do things, um, so to speak. So these people feel like they can't just let their guard down and relax and let other people help them. So this is another difficulty, okay? Um, doing things that they don't feel like doing because they want it to get done the right way and then still coming up empty or for that, okay? Because they didn't let somebody else help them. Let's say that they're cooking and they're in the kitchen and, you know, they're tired of cooking, but they love to cook, but they're tired of doing it because it's repetitive and they keep doing it every day. And then their partner says to them, okay, I'll cook, okay? They will still probably jump up and cook because they want it to taste the way they want it to taste or they want it to come out good. They want to be able to eat it too and all of these different types of things. So this is a tricky one to deal with. Um, they also have a tendency of making sure everyone else is okay and comfortable. And um, sometimes these people are not okay and comfortable so the things that they are running up and jumping up to do for other people is the very things that they need done for them um but they they have a difficult time but allowing that help in okay these men and women can have a fear of failure okay a fear of failing in life okay which is actually going to mean that if they have a fear of failure that they are actually scared of their own success. Okay, so this is something that accumulated early on in life, fearing um, their ultimate um, potential because they fear that it won't be right or something will go wrong or something might happen um, if they're on their rise to um, fame and recognition or whatever you call it. These people could feel like... Um, what if it gets stripped away from me along the way? See, they think about all that what if shit, okay? Um, and they need to refrain from doing that. So you might want to succeed because you fear rejection. These people are scared to try and succeed because you fear ridicule. So when these people were children, um, whatever it was they was moving into, whatever it was that they was trying to do, um, they were getting... Um, backlash behind it you fear your current career because you always neglect your own needs and the further you go the more you neglect yourself so these people have to learn how to tend to themselves they need to figure out what it is that they need they need to figure out what it is that they want they need to figure out who they truly are okay and link all of these things together and then they will be fine. That comes along with the process of healing. Um, you must come to terms with who you really are and what it is that you really want. In order to heal this wound, you have to accept yourself first. So this is a big key theme here is about self-acceptance, accepting yourself. These people have um, actually had to take on heavy responsibilities as a child, as youth, okay? Um, they learned this very early to look after people, take care of people, um, watch what they say around people, um, try not to offend people. They learned this very early on. When they become adults, it makes it difficult for them to look 
at their selves as a source of reassurance because they're looking for that for other people. Um, making sure somebody ate, making sure somebody has somewhere to stay, making sure somebody has somewhere to live, making sure somebody um, is not hurt, in pain, and da da da. See? Now, what happens when they're hurt? What happens when they're in pain? What happens when they are going through a rough time? Who is there to pick them up? Who is there to help them? Nobody, uh, right? Nobody, because they're so busy doing it to other people. And then these people can um, get just get lost in um, doing a whole bunch of shit for other people, period. All right? So they know how to take care of um, responsibilities, heavy responsibilities, Um as children. So they are taking on an adult role as a child. Okay. They are learning and training themselves to be a full blown um, adult or some kind of mother figure, father figure. That's a good way of looking at a mother, father, father figure um, structure in that kind of way for other people. These people's parents could have been very emotional, okay, for them growing up. Their parents could have been emotional, um, going through a lot of stress, going a lot, of, going through a lot of just things in their lives, their parents. These kids learned how to put other people's needs and wants before their own. They are naturally the type of people who others can count on, run to, turn to um, in um, crisis situations and um hurtful situations, somebody died in somebody's family. Okay, people look towards these people for that um, kind of um, fulfillment from them, um, encouragement from them. These are the friends who can actually help people um, pick themselves back up after a rough patch or a rough time in their life. However, these people don't do the same thing for them, as I said before. So Chiron and the 10th house people are very practical people. Um, they see what needs to be done and are great at helping other people out in practical and realistic ways. So these people are practical and very much realistic. They tend to carry on the weight of the world. It's another thing that they need to let go of. And they need to learn to drop some of that load off of them. Drop that burden off of them is what they need to learn how to do. Um, because what they're doing is they're carrying all this weight on them. Um all the way to the point of exhaustion. These people can become very, very exhausted um, because they keep on trying to save the damn day. So I'm going to leave this on the snow for now. In future videos to come out, go more in depth into Chiron in the 10th house. Anybody want to purchase a chart, hit me up. Anybody want to purchase anything from Twin Flame, hit me up. Anybody want to donate, hit me up. I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in, looking at the videos. I'm enjoying the new videos that are being published and the old ones that have already been published. So this is the force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love, peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.